Hey, we we just had some questions about yeah. your your last relationship. He said he was a narcissist. Yeah, when did he become a narcissist? Or you just didn't did see? Did he like it? win or, the lottery and then became you know an what? asshole? I'm sure the last thing you want is a bunch of men screaming at you about your failed relationship. Shut your face, woman! <laughs> <laughs> Back off my broccolini. Get your life together. It is. Don't touch me, bro. I'm not touching you, dude. It reminds me of Tijuana. Yeah, like, you know, like Tijuana, like Revolution. No. Okay, well, I do. <laughs> and um, that it gets crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a little unruly yeah. in Austin. We're talking about Austin. You, did you like it? It was cool, but I didn't... It was like a culture shock because um, I... Uh, I had never. I, I didn't know what to expect. It was like tattoo shops, comedy clubs, twenty four seven convenience stores. It's store. a mini it LA. Crazy. It's very. It's very blue. Horse shit. It is very blue. It's very blue. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, welcome it's, to the show. Uh, by the way. Yeah. It's Jesse May yeah. Peluso. Oh, we started. Yeah. Oh, oh, we're okay. Okay. oh we're we've on. been recording. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. Wow, real sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse May, everybody, welcome. Yeah. Hey, what's and, up? And Stevie, can you just lean back a little bit? Your head is there's the camera. Yeah. yeah you're Quit thanks, blocking brother. my Thick camera. Thick Korean Stevie. head. Oh, sorry, Jesse. <laughs> shit. It's a great. Uh, it's, it's a great man. deer shirt, though, Stevie. Did you get that? Is that? I went shopping the day before on Melrose. So I went to Urban Outfitters. I went to, I got, um, I got some, these are. I like those Sakani. Yeah, so so <laughs> yeah, I like your original kicks though. Those are cool. I like your oh, original. Oh, you like the, the, the li lightning? The lightning? Yeah, those are fire. I feel, now I, that, feel, I feel like Steve's like got like, like he has like a little bit of cash now in that savings account. And don't he's like, start shaming me, And he's me, going brother. into, the, he's on Melrose like, ooh. Urban, yeah, why'd you go to Urban yeah, Outfitters like, off go to Melrose? <laughs> you know what I mean? He was like, let me go to Urban Outfitters. He was That's like, a very Urban Outfitters shirt. Yeah. A deer shirt. I was wondering You know, I don't normally that. go there. Will you back me up? Will you? Help? I it would be on my I side. I can't back you his, up. Yeah, yeah, his Uber drove right past Marshalls. They're getting up on me. They're getting up. It does sound like, it does look like an Urban Outfitters deer shirt. It is. So it doesn't look like a vintage. It looks expensive vintage. Like new vintage. Yeah. But what if I Wash it a few times and then I, you know, put it out in the sun or something. You no, that. you, that's why you spent fifty dollars to make it look like that. How'd you know it was around that price? Because I know. I'm, oh, it I'm has a fake holes in the side too. It's got fake holes. You yeah. have a fifty dollar t shirt on, Steve. It was thirty two dollars. Who are you? Are you, are you, are you, Bob, are you Bobby? All no, of a these were cheap. These were like sixty dollars. <laughs> this was like thirty two dollars. That's all I got. <laughs> was did you feel like a rock star at Moon Tower? No, no? I just stayed in my hotel room. I didn't know that. See, the, th the problem is I didn't know how a festival worked. It's a party like, for comics. And for comics, Summer but then camp. there's always stuff yeah. going on, like itinerary, like this time you go here, this yeah. time, this is when Dave Attell goes, you know? Jeremiah didn't help. He's been to him before. He didn't he like take you under his wing. He was on so many shows. Like he did everything. He was hosting. He was doing, at the last show, the outro show, he was on stage in a rock and roll I outfit. Saw. Like, yeah, it was crazy. Yeah. I was just in my hotel room watching and Star did Wars. Did you guys only and have? At the, you were also at the gas station. You said. Yeah, I went, with, I went to Bucky's. Yeah. Oh yeah, Bucky's. Yeah, I went to he Bucky's. was in his hotel room Texas, and gas Bucky's. station. Yeah. So the highlights were beef jerky. <laughs> oh wow. Um, <laughs> okay. I tried. Uh, I got this hot, hot sweet tea at the convenience store. I really liked it. I put it oh, in my yeah. mini fridge. Sounds like a success. Um, and, you're, uh, you're traveling. You're just. I, I'm. I'm an amateur. Traveler. I didn't know what to do. I did the wrong <laughs> thing. How does your mind like, not help him out? I know. I feel like you could have just zoomed into this. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you needed to go to Austin. Yeah. <laughs> I I had fun at the live event. All right. Good. Yeah. You good so. turnout. Yeah, we sold out that room. Oh, that's great, man. But I'm um, I'm trying to because y'all are comics, right? I'm still trying to figure out the format of do i acknowledge them you know because podcasting in general you don't have a crowd but this time like it's just i was aware but how did people. you guys do it stevie was it you and jeremiah with two mics on stage yeah and we had a keyboard we had a crazy challenge so it's like a performance though huh it's like almost like a performance more so than a podcast it's like a yeah. live it's like stevie and jeremiah live exactly that's what you want yeah nobody wants to see you and Jeremiah sit down at a table like this and just talk to yeah. No, no, we had her. that format where his yeah. chair and then we had these kinds of mic. Huh. Yeah. So it was like a podcast podcast. It looked wild though. It did it? Oh, did you yeah. see it? Yeah. Did, were you, you at Moon Tower? On Instagram. What's that? <laughs> were you at Moon Tower? <laughs> no, I wasn't. No. Yeah. I, I, I stayed back. I was supposed to be in Edmonton, but I wasn't feeling good. I wasn't feeling good enough to travel. So yeah. I just stayed low for a week. Yeah. How, like, how do they pick? You Y'all are know about festivals. Like, uh -huh. how do they, because there's so many comics, how do they choose? Blood samples. Yep. It's very simple. DNA. Do you, do DNA. you submit a thing like Skin, Eric? Skins. Have you been there? <laughs> I've never been to Moon Tower actually. Really? Yeah, I've never been to that one. Moon Tower's cool. Then you Just been? for Laughs, the big one. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've, been, I've done Just for Laughs. I've been to the uh, what's the uh, what's the big one in Austin? The real one. 
Uh, <laughs> real one. I thought it was Moon Tower. Tower. The big boy. South, yeah. South, oh, South, South by South. No, that's, oh, a, South that's a movie. That's music that's and movies. Movie. But they Isn't always it? have comedy and stuff there. Yeah, but that's not like a, that's Is that more the forefront. Specific. Yeah, that's the movies and music. Yeah, it's the mu- forefront music of that. and movies. Oh. Moon Tower's like just. Well, straight. I, for, I guess I did go for a TV show, so I get I get it. Moon Tower is more fun for. I feel like I feel like it's like the most fun comedy festival. I've besides, I've never been to that one. These comedy things they always pass me by. The the comedy festivals are interesting. The comedy festivals are interesting though because it's like. I mean, I don't even know if you need to do them. I think if you're starting out, or unless you're a huge headliner like Burr or someone, yeah. it doesn't make a ton of sense. Why Cause, not? Cause, because just financially, it doesn't make a ton of sense. Yes, yeah, if you're because I could you, fly you break to even or you're, Austin you're out. and do my own show and make probably double the money than what the the Moon Tower would pay you. Oh, they, they so have a, it's they a have money a thing. You don't go for, for the me. Experience. It's a money. So, like when you were in Austin doing uh, Moon Tower, yeah, I was literally an hour away doing a theater in San Antonio. That's him just humble and then you're yeah, a little quadrupling bit. Quadrupling your bit, money? Jessamine. That was him just rubbing his dick in your face. A little bit. His nutsack. Yeah. Well, yeah. most of the comments. The whole yeah. damn thing. Well, I got just something to rub in your <laughs> face later. In my, I have something in my bag. I have something in my bag. I have something in my bag, Brendan. You just got verbally dick slapped. It's okay, by but thick boy. No, no, I'm just saying that. You, I mean, they're 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 fun. But the the boys taking the lion's share of the the gals and boys making the lion's share of the money are the real big boys, and then the rest of it is just like yes, I exactly. have a huge weight on my shoulders. I didn't mean to cut you off. Buzz, buzz, gang, gang, kids in a tiny apartment in Southern California. Two college dropouts teamed up to create a watch company called Movement. They broke all the rules with fair prices. Unexpected colors, clean, original styles. We all love them, man. It's movement. They grew into one of the fastest-growing watch brands, shipping to over 160 countries across the globe. Proud of you, boys. Now movement has expanded to blue light glasses that protect your eyes from screens. All right? Uh, everyone's staring at screens, so you probably need these things. All the de- all these uh, designs are out of the California headquarters, right? You know, a lot of watches you see out there are thousands of dollars, but you see a gentleman or gal watching a movement watch, and you're like, what? How much is that? That's probably the quality of a four to five hundred dollar watch. Yeah, not with uh, movement, man. They cost a fraction of that. That's because they were built online and they own their process from start to finish. You get a beautiful watch shipped right to your door for free. If you don't love it, you can ship it right back for free. If you want to elevate your look with style that doesn't break the bank, then movement is for you. Get 15% off today with free shipping, free returns by going to MVMT.com slash cats. Again, that's MVMT.com slash cats. Yo, man, there's a lot of anxiety in the world right now. The world is crazy. Maybe there's something interfering with your happiness or preventing you from achieving the goals that you set for yourself, man. Whatever it is, my friends at BetterHelp can help you out, man, by matching with your own licensed professional therapist. Professional. Not your friend around the water cooler. Not one of your coworkers. None of that stuff, man. You can start communicating under 48 hours. Not a Christ line. Not self-help. It's professional counseling done securely online, man. Service is available worldwide, wide, wide, wide. Log on anytime you want. Send a message to your counselor. You get a timely, thoughtful response. Plus, you can schedule weekly or video phone sessions, all right? Uh, BetterHelp is committed to making therapy great, man. So they got you guys covered. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today. Visit BetterHelp.com slash K-A-T-S. That's Better H-E-L-P. And join the over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, you need to get on it, man. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and the King of the Sting listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash cats. You brought a special I'm guest. Scared. Yeah, but this is uh, there's I'm a huge weight too. on my so- so shoulder. Is there something alive in there? <laughs> yeah, it, it, hey, speaking it, of it, DNA. It well, it's probably um, alive how much cum. Yeah, speaking of <laughs> DNA. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to back up like that, but um, I, we were second. planning this for months, and I wanted to uh, grow as a person. I feel mm-hmm. like he does this on uh, purpose because he wants to be on camera. Grow as an individual yeah, right? and like, move past my... You know, perverted uh, sexual masturbation no, you're growing habits. Up, dude. You have Moon <laughs> Tower. So I had this thing, and it, it's, I'm going to part with it today. And we we announced it. Okay, we're going to part with it. I'm scared because he's filming. Why are you filming me? Okay, so this is uh, okay. Oh, is it? Is oh, it wow, it's smaller butt? than I thought. So I'm going to put it on the table. Just yeah. Yeah. put the thing is, is that a spec- child's ass? Yeah, is that like a ten year old <laughs> dude? Is that like- is that <laughs> Malcolm in the Middle's ass? <laughs> But Steve, the out of respect, whoa, I don't know if we should timestamp this. <laughs> yeah, I, it, no, 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 you don't need to timestamp. This is, that, is going in. At least no one can say out of our respect, show doesn't have enough um, because this is a funeral yeah. for for 
For a so small, small black child's ass. Like, this is not child. This is not child. This is an adult. Stop shaking That's it. That's not an adult ass. I'm, I'm gonna man. I'm gonna kiss it on the butthole. Oh, oh. wow. And then you guys can you kiss each uh, no. a bunch of. No. 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 Oh Why my is God. it so small? small. This is a good story. But that's disrespect. You said black but that's ass, disrespect. I was thinking like a yeah. Nicki Minaj. Steve, no, he no, always no. holds it like this. I thought the Uber, you would have to get no, an Uber you have to SL kiss it though, guys. to put it in the You have trunk. to kiss it. Like, you have no, to no. really it's get it. It's a funeral. You have to kiss it. Like, yeah. I can't believe you're no, even touching Steve, it. we're not. Do you see that? Do you see this? We're going to have to blur that out. Steve has wrecked it. Steve has wrecked it. How do you know? How do you know I used it? Yeah. We know you used it, Steve. Because it's worn out. How do you know? Steve got the class one and was like, Gosh. Gosh. It's got a good weight. There you go. Hey, it's there heavy. It's heavy. I like what you're doing. <laughs> That's what I did. So, uh, Dude, it's so tiny, Steve. I know. It's so little. You might as well have had the whole body. Can we do a, <laughs> can we do a little prayer? I Why do you a, just have the whole body, Steve? This don't even so make any awkward. sense. That's how it came. You know I want mean? to do a prayer. I just picked, I just picked your Steve at home like, yeah, say something, bitch. Why say it, something. Why I'm talking so shit to it. It's all it's worn so out. Tiny. It's so Dude, it's so this is a flat. child's ass, yes. Stevie. That's the way it came in the box, man. That's it's an adult heavy. butt. Wait, you said it's not an adult butt. That's an adult butt. There's no adult butt. But it felt fantastic. It felt really good, man. You squeeze some Vaseline and lotion in there. Are you being like facetious or have you really felt that? This has oh, been his. I used to I used to ride. Me. This has been his. Yeah. This has been his ride or die for wow. like six years. Hello. Wow. How long have wow. you had it, Stevie? Let's just do the funeral. <laughs> <laughs> and can you stop what? slapping it down? <laughs> oh, sorry, dude. Don't disrespect it. No. No. Don't you fucking dude, bring that after, no. after all no. the shit bring you've bring done with no, no. not a chance, not a chance, no. not, not, not happening. Steve, this is just this cheap. This <laughs> is not going to I, happen. I can't. You were just smacking it, having a good time. You know I love you. Yeah, but that's we're gonna do a prayer. Ooh, look at the hair. Into the mic. Okay, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a prayer. <laughs> He's touching it. Or just a, a moment of silence. <laughs> ten seconds. <laughs> yeah, uh, ten I did. Ten seconds. Moment of silence. Ten seconds. <laughs> this is. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm so concerned because <laughs> it's a child's ass. You know what's crazy? He's. Well, then we have to start over. Then. I know that's not silence. No, no, hold Sorry. on a second. Steve, Sorry, Steve's beat this thing queefing. up so much it looks like Brendan's ear. <laughs> <laughs> like this. Well, you better watch out. The asshole like this cauliflower. <laughs> you better watch out. This is a cauliflower pussy right here. <laughs> Don't shame my black butt, dude. Yeah, I spent many hours. I mean, that Sorry. might get Don't us kicked off YouTube, Nick. Oh my God. Oh jeez. Wow. <laughs> this one goes out to all the asses out there. <laughs> all the silicone that has been abused <laughs> and thoroughly loved. Too thoroughly. That thing's gotten Stevie through some dark times. Yeah. The darkest times. Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't like wow. the bag you brought it in. I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that. Steve, Come I have a question, Steve. Steve, I question. So I mean, it's so small. Oh, wow. So Thanks, for doing yeah, that. Really, Thanks for doing that. I'm disappointed in the size. Was that growth? That was growth. I don't know what that was. If you loved it so much, why'd you bring it in like a plastic bag? No, Stevie, that was gross. <laughs> Will you start taking my side? I, I'll no, go no, a little this bit, is the thing. Because these guys, they gang up on me. I need you on my side. I can only take I the need side you on I want to take, today, and please. I don't know. Steve, now I'm, I'm, I'm alone in a corner. He's whispering to her like we can't hear him. <laughs> hey, hey, Brendan. I need you on my side. I need you on my side. He's like, I've done some vile shit to that yeah, ass, yeah. okay? No, he's talked about it a lot. Yeah, a lot. It's been a reoccurring theme. It's been building up. And he's always threatened to bring it in, and he finally did today. My thing is, he always says it's for this big. Is it right? <laughs> he always says it's this big. Do you no, think I see. Th I say Theo's penis is that big. Wow. Yep. Do you think that was created out of loneliness or uh, someone's attempt to not get cheated on? Wait, say that again. That, does, oh, like that, the, that the actual butt. ass? The fuck butt. Do you oh, think loneliness. it was Guys, loneliness? Guys, can't okay. get chicks, I'd assume. Okay. I gotta see like Time a woman stamp buying that. it. <laughs> Time stamp. <laughs> Because I know you're referring to me because I'm the one with the butt. <laughs> no, your, your situation's okay. different. Your situation's Wait, different. I do have a question, what? though. No. Steve, this is a question. Think about it. Think I about, thought it. about it. Think about it. I have. My question is, did you get that color butt because maybe it was the cheapest or the only one they had? Or did you actively be like, you know what? I want to try the, the, the black butt. Or was it, yeah, was it like, Why did you get like a, back me up on a Asian I'm, I'm butt? I'm genuinely or like also a, curious about that. Uh, was it a discount? I'm curious. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm curious. It was given. See, to- that's the size I thought it was going to be. Yeah, me too. So like, what? Real you're handful. a hypocrite, man. That's not a show. <laughs> no, man, you're a hypocrite. That's man. a show, Steve. You're a goddamn hypocrite. That's workaholic. That's proof that you used By it too. By the way, too. that disappeared. No, you ha- you took that into your, your trailer, man. No, someone it, took it. It, it, it disappeared. You used it too, that's that's my the friend. little thing about it. Um, it was given to me as a gift. I had no choice. What Who friend gave you as a you? gift? Uh, my friend David Cho. Oh. Oh. Mm-hmm. He's got a lot of money. He could have sprung for the yeah bigger ass. <laughs> what do you mean? I know. What's that say about you that he picked thing. the little one? <laughs> it wasn't that little. That one's top of the line. It shrunk. But Stevie, well, I'm a little guy. Stevie, was he also like, hey man, I know you're going through a tough time here. Yeah. I don't know what kind of friendship involves giving fuck butts. That's that's pure friendship right there. What are you talking? Maybe. About? Show, I, 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 oh, yeah. Are you saying it's enabling? Wait it a minute. Is. If you it's had enabling? a really good vibrator. I have a couple good yeah. ones. Okay, you See? you wouldn't you wouldn't gift that to a friend of yours. I I was just gonna say my girlfriend Yamanika Saunders w- when my dad died sent me a vibrator. See, oh wow, it's the same See? thing. <laughs> and what are you, why are you judging me? Ah, uh, because I, I'm it's the fun. bad guy. It's fun, and I'm joining in. Yeah. Like, <laughs> She's on our side. <laughs> so you do use dildos and vibrators and stuff. Yeah, but I, then why are you not shaming me that I have different. a black butt? It's that's not different. It's a little different. It's not different. It's, it's the same. Different. It's the same. You know thing. what? It's half a body. It's not different. I'm actually with Steve on this. Are Thank you. you. Finally, yes. for once are in you? your life. You know why? Because the hypocrisy. <laughs> Like, I'm sure her side table is like, you know, a freaking Best Buy of, you know what I mean? I, I wish. Now yeah. I need to go shopping. It's like a I'm sharper just, image. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it is Thank like you. different. Like, you know, they got all this machinery. Yeah. Steve got one silicone black butt they and now we shame him for yeah. that, you know? Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, you guys yeah. did. Yeah, we did. You did this to him. I'm, we're shaming him on the size. Yeah. yeah that, that's oh, really well, bothers. So now we're getting down to the techniques of yes. how we're shaming. Yeah. Yeah, because how if it's big, so, we how thought. How big are the dildos? Everybody at I, home. That's a personal question. We'd have to be dating. I just showed you my black butt. <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't ask you to. You I know, but how up. big is it? Like, I'm going to do this, and then you tell me when to stop. <laughs> Your no, fingers are so small. We can't trust Steve. Steve <laughs> sorry, has bad right, depth perception. Yeah. That's for real, dude. Holy moly guacamole. I stamp that for real. I swear to God, that, that can't be aired. But, but that cannot be aired. Steve, I see Because you're, you're, you're I shaming my, me now. I you might as well just say, hey, dude, you have a micro penis. Holy yeah, st- moly. Steve, no, Stevie, no, dude. By your fingers. No, absolutely not. I Stevie, got Stevie, since you've come on the show, though, there's been some growth for you. You've got thank Moon you, Tower. Brandon. You've got shopping with your outfit thank now. You, thank you. You got thank rid of this black ass. Thank you. You beat Keep up. Going. You beat up a, a kid who lost 200 pounds. I didn't want to fight. I yeah. didn't want to wrestle that kid. Mm-hmm. I like. But I like. George. I've never been more proud of you. I've never I been love more proud George. of you. Shout out to George. I love George. that kid. You beat George up. I had no choice. Hold on, just man. I'll show you this. So this George kid. Shout out to George. George. Okay, he was he was 450 pounds, and uh, probably a year and a half ago, he goes, "Hey, my goal is to lose 200 pounds, and I want to wrestle Stevie because Stevie wrestled." So Nick surprised all this. He lost 250 pounds. He flies out here. He surprised everybody. Watson in a singlet. So then after the show, him and Stevie wrestle. You forget Stevie was like a goddamn world champion California wrestler. I was right Beats the shit out of this kid. In the state. I was takes I, him I down, choked at state. Takes though. him down like this. And then, but George is such a good kid. He's so nice. Yeah, so I, I mean, feel, I didn't I, want to hurt the kid. I mean, the thing is, I felt when I felt his, when we locked up, yeah. I felt his, the power of yeah. weight. And I'm like, it felt like Thor's yeah, hammer like on my neck. Bear, yeah. And I felt him club my neck. And a I go, keto grizzly bear. And what you didn't see, I tried to do a move called a duck under. I uh, know. But his arm was so big. Yeah. So I tried to do that. That was like, I that was one of my go to's yeah. in high school. But his, yeah, the. Yeah, his yeah. arm was blocking it. So I'm like, okay, under, I, like I need to end this now or I need to at least try to shoot in. So I did the sweep single leg. Speaking he, he of took, wow. he took him down like that, but so then this kid, I'm 130 something. This plus. kid George, uh, great kid, right? Just comes from nothing, works his ass off. So he's never like been on a plane. He's never stayed at a nice hotel. So he's a for, good kid. I flew into my San Antonio show, and I put him in. The, uh, to me, it's the best hotel in America. Good for you, man. What so is I, it? It's a Can Hotel Emma in San Antonio. Oh, okay. It's my favorite hotel in the world. So I got him the master suite oh, at really? Emma. Yeah, he's never stayed at a hotel. Sh- play that video, Nick. He's such a character too. He's a good kid. Oh, that's a beautiful hotel. It's oh, the best. Wow. Five star? You know they got yeah. free music on YouTube you can use. <laughs> oh, Look at this yeah. kid. <laughs> oh, this is a great that's vlog. Him, that's him later? That's him now. Wow. He was four and fifty pounds. Good for him. This is why I say you gotta meet people when one there meet a lot of people. This kid don't give a fuck. Yeah. He's such a personality too. Such he said a good he looks kid. looks like a bag of milk still. He's he's super self-deprecative. He's a funny. bag of milk? 
<laughs> oh wow! A lot of work He's to drop that much weight, though. Yeah, oh man. Yeah, he's just doing it. And he is hardcore keto. Oh, he's adorable. He's, he's a kid. He's such a good person. Me? He's, he's a kid. He, he looks really so is. sweet. He's so sweet. Yeah. And he's a good kid. Ooh, that looked like the black butt wink. <laughs> 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 they will not be at Coachella this year. People, fans at the show were giving him love, man. Oh yeah. Like, he's never done anything like this. He must have had so much fun. Oh my Damn, god. What kind of venue? Oh, are you oh doing? thank you so this much for crazy, coming out, Reddy? man. I love you guys. Before I close out tonight, he didn't know I'm going to bring this, this gentleman on stage. His name's George. George was 450 pounds. And he said, dude, if I lose 200 pounds, I'll fly to L.A. and I will wrestle Stevie. <laughs> I went, dude, you lose 200 fucking pounds. I will fly you to L.A. I will fly you to my show, have you backstage. And where George comes from, he doesn't see stuff like this. So the point of all this, George, is there's so much more to this world, man. You can fucking do it, brother. I love you, man. Keep it up. San Antonio, I love you guys. Oh, I was oh, hoping I could see sweet. you take him down. You guys no, can get a video of that. I just body slammed him. What was this? <laughs> Thanks, George. Weight loss commercial I just watched. <laughs> no, you don't I was hoping I'd saw, see you take him down. I, I, li I like George a lot. Yeah, I like really George. I like yeah, him. Yeah, I text him daily I like him. He's a great guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's very tight. How did he lose all that weight? Was it just good old exercise keto, and diet? Keto, and then he got the the tummy surgery. The, oh, the where they cut your gastric bypass? Yeah, he did that. Yep. Wow. Yep. He looks young, too. You know how many years he added to his life? He's 20s, right? He's 22. Where is he from? Uh, our uh, south of Chicago. Mm. Wow. So mm -hmm. uh, both brothers OD'd on heroin. Father is in a, basically a wheelchair because so much drug use. Mom works like 18 hours a day. Jesus. His sister, who's currently an addict, uh, had kids. He takes care of the kid. So he's oh. just like the best fucking kid, man. Can we start a GoFundMe or something yeah. for this guy yeah. to keep his stuff, stuff together? You know what the mean? fact that he like took... Initiative to like get yeah, his right. shit in order. Motivation he, too, yeah. That's what I told him. Yeah. Real, yeah. And he's just a real sweet personality. He's yeah. such a good person. Yeah, and that's you know. a really good like story about what it takes to make change. Like you are capable of changing what your story could become. But also mm -hmm. think about the chaos that he's in. Like me and him went to dinner after the show on oh, Saturday. Oh no, you have to show up, man. <laughs> she wants to see it. But wait, well, I want to hear what you're going to yeah, say. Yeah, well, so we went to dinner on Saturday because I, 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 I had to do this charity thing before the show, so I didn't get a ton of time with him. Then brought him backstage, and you're getting ready for a show, so I can't talk to him a ton. Mm -hmm. Then after show, we went to dinner, and he stuck to his keto diet. There was chips and salsa in from chicken wings. He didn't touch it. He yeah. had a spinach salad with <clears throat> chicken. Like he Oof. walks the walk, man. It's yeah. Terrible, <laughs> awful. That's what I thought. That. That's why I said, God, that looks terrible, bro. But um, no, but he'll get into see, a let groove. Let me see. Where he but, like, but but but, I, but, I don't like but he I don't was like. telling me about like his whole family and his sister and his brothers and all. And I'm like tearing up. And Chappelle's yeah. next to him. You know, Chappelle's been through some shit, man. Yeah. Chappelle grew up a rough lifestyle. So Chappelle's into it, and I was just like, dude, you were dealt these cards, man. And not, it, it sucks. You were dealt these cards. You can fold and go down the road that your brothers and sister went down, or you can fucking play the game, dude. Yeah. And I was like, the reason I brought you out here is this is the game, dude. This is. is the fucking game, George. And you can do this, man. People so, have yeah. such a – you have a choice between the story you were dealt and the story you can tell. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and will the story that you've been dealt be the one that you tell for yourself? And this is like such a great – Think about all the stories he hears. Though. Yes. All this negativity. I know. All this yeah. shit. Well, why, 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 listen, life that? is a series yeah. of choices. Yeah. And, and sticking with them. And the hardest thing for people to do is actually make a choice yes. because they're always thinking about the future. Now let's right. watch Stevie beat the show. Yeah, let's, let's watch, let's watch yeah. that. Oh, but what, yeah. I was so proud of Stevie, I pick him up. <laughs> Stevie's too gods. <laughs> I could tell by Stevie's gods. movement. That You just went for the duck under there. Yeah, yeah, I told you. But he, yeah, he's, yeah, he blocked Oh, oh he's wow. a strong boy. Yeah, he almost got Steve right there. But watch, like, boom. Oh, oh wow. Phil, I had me. That's I when Steve like almost tore his ACL, the poor kid. <laughs> Wow. All right, you can stop it, yeah. But you know, I had to do it because I felt his his power. No, you had to do Did it. Did you have I your fuck butt on a shelf somewhere <laughs> cheering you on? Yeah, it was like clapping. I'm not on my side. I thought you were on my side. I was so proudly to do that. Pick him up. <laughs> yeah. You're a strong, strong man. Good Say that again. Stevie. You're a strong, strong man. Boom. <laughs> Fully redeemed yourself. <laughs> now you're now you're you around. have very, very you. tender hands. All right, Nick, let's get to the show. Yeah. Right. Shout out to George. Yeah, we love George. Yeah, George. Oh, Who's geez. hungry out there? Maybe you're watching this podcast right now. King of the Sea. Man, I'm starving. I don't feel like going or I got work to do. I got to pick up the kids. I don't have time. We'll let my friends at Grubhub help you out, man. Best thing about Grubhub, Grubhub loves restaurants, man. They love restaurants. 
and they want to drop off the food the way it was intended from restaurants. Restaurants work hard to serve the customers, so Grubhub works hard for them. For example, Grubhub works hard to serve restaurants, and that's why they paired up with Panera Bread Man, and they're doing a little extra with Panera. Today, Grubhub's doing a lot for Panera. Get a free delivery perk on your first order from Panera of $15 or more. Order through the Grubhub app or online. Grubhub, we serve restaurants. Man, how many of you Americans are sick of the high deductible health insurance plans? It's exhausting, man. And then you go and you're on the hook for thousands of dollars on deductibles, co-pays, sky-high premiums. I'm sick of it. Introducing Crowd Health. If you're sick of it, man, it isn't health insurance. It's a better way to pay medical expenses, man. That's exactly what it is. It's flexible. Membership as a monthly subscription. Start or stop when it's convenient for you. All right. They have simple, transparent pricing. All right. Customized to fit your needs. Needs. Crowd Health lowers your monthly health care cost, all right? And you can see any doctor you want, man. It's simple. You use their app, you find a doctor in the area, rank from one to five stars. Probably go more towards the five star. One, I'd probably stay away from one star when we're talking about health here. Uh, membership, all right? They have a community of health conscious members who want to get and stay healthy in return for lower prices. Crowd Health is able to offer amazing prices because of its community of health conscious members, but for limited time, the King's Thing listeners and viewers get their first month free. And after you've been a member, Crowd Health will include a fitness wearable. That's 30 days to try risk-free plus a fitness wearable. Just go to joincrowdhealth.com slash fit. Enter the code KATS at sign up. That's joincrowdhealth.com slash fit. Promo code KATS. Crowd Health is not health insurance. It's a community-powered alternative. Terms and conditions may apply. Join crowdhealth.com slash fit promo code KATS. I was, it's always weird to, you know, I go, we haven't started the show yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've been oh, going no, for 50 <laughs> minutes. All right, let's get into the show. Yeah. I'm glad you guys are loose, got to yeah. know each other. Yeah. We'll, we'll start. Uh, now, what color dildo do you think she has? Oh, it's multicolored. Uh, turquoise. Yep. For sure, color. Uh, Unicorn. No, it's just solid. That Jason it's solid beanie black. Sick. It's yeah. a is solid. Is it a beanie? It's dark, juicy. Uh, is that a beanie? And then it's just, it says oh. 666 on her neck. Yeah. Wow. yeah. My name is Mandy. I'm 20. I live in Rochester, New York. This is my dog, King. He's, He's terrified. nine and he lives in Rochester, New York. Um, <laughs> I have a King It or Sting It for you guys. Uh, my King It or Sting It is body modifications. Um, tattoos and piercings have become more and more mainstream over the years. Um, not as controversial to have anymore. But I'm talking about where you actually go all the way to modify your body, like remove a part. Um, or, you know, enhance it. I have uh, oh two inch ears. God. I have a piece of my ear cut off that what? I keep in the jar. She kept it? No. And then I have a throat piercing. And yes, that is a real tattoo. I have 666 on my throat. Uh, gangster. So, King Yer is singing. Okay, gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Well, she's not going to get a job at Wells Fargo. Well, let me start. Yeah. Can I start? What they need to start showing, because now, we're, it's now 2021. We've been lived in modern times for a while now. They need to start showing old ladies yes. who've done this stuff. With their ears. And let's see how they're living now. Because your ears still, no matter what, they droop down. Then you also have that. Yeah. So they look like fucking hound dogs. They're I just, just, just want to see, like, down. show these people. <laughs> sit. Show what the tattoo looks like when you're now 70. Show what the, like, your ears look like. Show what your nose looks like. Show, like, mm. all the things that you've done and see how, how is it going to be when you're, you know, 60 plus. But, but have you ever seen a 70-year-old where you're like, damn, that they look dope. Yeah. Very there's, rare. There's a couple well, you're going to look like shit no matter what. Might as well pierce it up or tattoo your All face. Right. Well, then there you go. But you know the ear thing, I, I'm confused. Why'd she cut off yeah, her there ear? There you go. I love it. This her, is what her you issue need to see. I'm makeup. here for it. Her issues are makeup. That foundation <laughs> is Yeah, terrible. that makeup's jarring. Am I right? It's, it's, <laughs> more, it's like, more Well, you know what? Am I right? You know what? I'm glad you showed that. Can we see the couple That's probably hugging? a good example right What's there. What's that couple? Who's that couple? What? Wow. That's love. That's real love. Damn, that is cool. That is. Did she say she cut her ear off? They look though? like Victorian lamps. You know what? That's actually <laughs> that's actually distracting. <laughs> that that, or, that or is two two, you know, two rugs <laughs> rolled up. <laughs> I feel like there should be. But what does she mean by like the, like the, people who make themselves look like lizards and stuff? That too, but like all body or modifications, vampires. like the ear thing. I just. I mean, more power too. They've been doing Africa for how yeah, fucking yeah, long yeah, where they yeah, put the yeah. plates in yeah. their lip. If that's what you want to do, and it's kind of an attention thing, I think, yeah. I just don't find it attractive. Yeah. You know like, what? It's there's not a sexy. You know what? Like, I feel... there's cool things you do to enhance your body that would be pretty sexy. Well, there's a term. As the oldest person here, 
I don't want to be like the crotchety old guy. No, but please. You know, but no, but but I was I was when once I when I said that and they Googled okay, that stuff and they showed the older people, I was like, you know what? This is fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's oh, fine. Probably. It you know doesn't what I mean? matter. And actually that that those body tattoos of those old people, we're actually distracted about how disgusting and old they look. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? It's almost like, oh, that's actually dope. It's you know what I mean? Dope. Yeah. It's, you know, so I'm like, you know what? More power to you. I'm king in it. I'm uh, hard king for me. I just don't find it. the, the right ear. ear thing. I'm confused. I don't know why she cut her ear off. Like, That's an interesting. Is that a new thing? I, I wonder what I, it, I don't like know. the gauge. They call it gauging, right? No, like, it's I don't think they do that. But why would she cut? I don't body know why integrity, she cut. identity disorder. But did she cut her ear so it's pointy? She had a yeah. piece. I don't know, man. But she put the word disorder. The word the disorder is... makes it not good. See, yeah. that's why I think the <laughs> more. Cut it off. Well, the disorder is the people that turn into like actual lizards. But at what point does it teeter into disorder? And I'm I'm all for bring up the lizard guy or girl. Like they they split. Well, their I gotta tongue, sting it because so I don't like I don't like the ear thing. I, I have to sting that. I don't find the ear thing sexy. The ear thing's interesting, but I think that leans more into like maybe the disorder thing. And I'm all here for living your life, living your truth, do your thing. But. There see, is go to the guy limit. on the far left. Oh, see, yeah, now, see that vampire teeth. That's I, I another. See that? That's a disorder. That, that's I, crazy. I don't know about that. I that, feel like see, that's disorder. That's crazy. That should be accompanied with some really heavy therapy, yeah. and I mean that with love. They probably drink blood, and you know what I mean. Well, here's the thing, though. as kids. But, you know, if you live, people that live in communes and people that have like, I mean, this person's not going to be like. You know, you're I not gonna not you're not gonna swipe right on Tinder, but the person that is, they probably be like, "Ooh, I like this." I mean, there's That's obviously crazy. people that like this. Yeah. I don't get it. A small, I'm niche. not into it. Yeah, me neither. I would never in my life do that ever. But it's like it is what it is. So man. that's I not mean, a, that's a, not makeup. That's a tattoo. The that's, that's yeah, a, he, that's he put implants whole... in his hair. He they file their teeth so they're sharp like a. Whoa! Like He's a, not from a commune. That's from Middle that's Earth. That's insane. That's dude. Fr- that's 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 from a different realm. Yeah. I don't know. I'm feeling something. Like I feel like why do we? You see this and you feel bad for them. And I, oh, I'm trying you, not to feel you know like how that. it ends for. Because yeah. I mean, how does that end? I, like how does it end for her? I, I mean, I, I guess you can work in casket? a circus off Venice. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah. Like, where do you, like, there's not going to be a lot of career choices there. But there's that's why a, I feel bad. I feel like the yeah, community. Because even that's my own if perception. If he pulled up in an Uber, he'd be like, oh, next one, Doug. But I'm saying this. This is our perception <laughs> of what we think is normal. Right? Like, I want to get an Uber with that fucking... He wouldn't pull up his an tongue Uber, was he like, would crawl to you. Yeah. He's yeah. crawling. There's yeah. no Uber, that guy. And he'd be driving Lyft. That's yeah. not an Uber driver. He's yeah. in a lime green fucking Civic. Ooh, that's some shade on Lyft. He's in a carriage. Well, yeah, did you king or sting it? She did, we need to get her vote. Did you king or sting it? I king it because I think life is so short. Go crazy, do your thing. But I also think it needs to be accompanied with some some deep... Betterhelp.com therapy. Some promo code cats. Yep. Betterhelp.com Betterhelp.com slash cats. Yep. Slash Griffin, actually. <laughs> oh, okay, you got your own shit. All right, my Slash bad. Cats. <laughs> All right, King this, of the Sting. I'll move on to a But I have club. one too. All right. Oh yeah, King of the Sting. Duh. Is this like okay. a cute Ari Shafir? <laughs> <laughs> yes. What's up, guys? It's Eric out here in LA, and I've got a debate club topic for you. I don't know if you saw it, but. Over the weekend, Nick Cage got into a little trouble in Vegas. Ooh, he he got kicked rough. out of a restaurant for being pretty drunk, starting fights with some of the staff, and he was also mistaken for a homeless person at one point. Mm, um, he's getting a lot of shit across <laughs> the world right now, just people people really making fun of him. And I think we need to you know, step back and just really remember how important Nick Cage was to all of us Face and off. just what his movies mean. Um, so my debate club topic for Ghost you Rider. all is yeah. what is your favorite Nick Cage movie? Mine is Con Air and his new movie Jiu Jitsu. Thanks, guys. Ooh. Gang, gang, buzz, buzz. Con Air, great movie. Con Put a the classic. bunny back in the box. Mm-hmm. What what other movies did he have? Face Off was big. National Treasure was big. Yeah, Pig, National, both of them his, too. The recent one, Pig, is a great performance by really? him. Really, I heard nothing Pig, happens. Pig, it, what's that one? You know what happens is Nick Cage gets into a realm he's never really been in, which is real acting. <laughs> Yeah. No, that's not no, true. Oh no, Leaving he's Las Vegas actor. he was good in there. Oh, he's great in Leaving Las Vegas. Yeah. He's but that was his first actor. movie. Well, he never left Las Vegas because look at this. Right. He's just him in Vegas. That's just... really him? But I mean, this guy, all he, he does is He has Under Armour sandals on. He's Wait, one, guys. He's been in the most movies I would, ever. I'm not going to be surprised. Passion. I'm not going to be surprised if in a year a movie comes out and this is a character yeah. that he's practicing. He got too into it. Yes. Leaving Las Vegas too. So many actors have done that. Yeah. Jim Carrey's done that. Oh, Don in sixty Bale. seconds. Remember the one? Uh, what, remember that movie Joaquin Phoenix made? That was I'm like, still the, here. yeah, I'm still here. I'm still here. Like he that got... was sort of a mockumentary type yeah. thing. Yes. I wouldn't be surprised if he's just preparing for a role. That's a good point. Yeah, or he's just batshit crazy. You know what he does with his money? He bought a, a real. Uh, he he pays his taxes. 
do, do you, uh, I don't know if he does. He got in a little bit of trouble. Oh, he didn't get in a little bit of trouble. He, he, <laughs> bought, he bought like a straight up medieval like uh, castle, and then he put real <laughs> dinosaur bones in it. Mm-hmm. And his man, his business manager, was like, dude, this T Rex skull's like seventy million dollars. He's like, buy it. And now he's like, that's why he's making shitty movies. No, no, I because he's I, trying to like, I think pay he had, for all this random shit. But I think he has serious tax issues, yes. and for the last ten years, he was making any movie mm. that he could just make to pay it off, and just to pay it off. And I think he's probably out of debt. Now he has some money, and he's like doing what he wants to do with it. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's probably a character. Those Under Armour sandals would beg the difference as far as money goes, but I feel you. I don't but understand. you know what? You want to live rich, you got to look poor. A lot, oh. of, a lot of people live like that. Look at Warren Buffett. He's like one of the richest dudes. Dude, He's when I used to go to the, he McDonald's. I know exactly what you're saying. I used to go to the Clipper Games a lot. I was, you know, um, I had like not a flex, but I had tickets with Adam. You know what I mean, Devine? Yeah. And we were, we had great seats, but the guys that were sitting in the front row, I mean, Red sweats. Bear. Like just looking terrible. You, you know what that is? Billionaires. Yeah, yeah, yeah no doubt. <laughs> it's smart. That's how oh, you they don't give a fuck. They got there's a yeah. difference between but there's being also rich lack and of fashion sense too. You know what I'm mm. saying? Like they just don't give a fuck. No, no, I, I they're get, buying professionals. I get that, but here's the thing though. Yeah, when you they're look at whores. if you the, the the old white guys that are just like you go, who's this guy? They're the ones with the money. Yep. You know. And then, like you know, some rapper will come in with like you know, you know, just like all these chains, chains and all and like this well, chains. It's about just image and essence. Just, just looking there's, stupid. There's a fine line. There's a fine, you know there's a fine line. Like you don't need to wear sweats to the goddamn game. You yeah, know what I'm saying? The, yeah. Your image. I'm you're not worried you. yeah. about looking rich. You're worried about being rich. People who look rich are usually broke as fuck. Yeah. And Sometimes. or or their wealth won't last because they don't understand what it takes to retain For wealth. For sure. Yeah. I don't know why I yelled about that. <laughs> yeah, no, very passionate no, you about finances keep... because I come from a broke family. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, guys, you guys keep referring and uh, referring uh, uh, rappers, you know, <laughs> and I feel, you know, yeah. like obviously they're bad with money, but there's a lot of like rich people that have good fashion sense, you know. There's a few. There's name, like name somebody. There's like six. Off yeah. the top name of your one. head, name, show the top name ten one. billionaires no, no, no. in the yes. world. <laughs> And let me see, like if they if they, if they floss it. Ta- <laughs> Steve Jobs, Steve Jobs, terrible. We don't even wear turtlenecks. Oh, Elon Musk. I'm dressed like Bill Gates right now. <laughs> <laughs> Elon, 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 Elon dressed basic. decent. Yeah, but, but Elon's basic. He's in no, t-shirts he some, and jeans, uh, and he wears he a suit when he has shit. an event. He got, yeah. Who else? Customized. Oh, I don't. I'm, I'm just talking. Mark, Mark Cuban's not bad. They're basic <laughs> no. suits. Jerry Seinfeld. T-shirts and shorts. Jay Seinfeld don't got. We, we talking sneakers. about. We talking about. Look at this. What is this? Money, money. <laughs> yeah, who's he? Yeah, yeah we're talking about wealth. <sighs> this is a fashion mogul named James Goldstein. He's That's a, a witch. He's at every NBA game <laughs> yeah. he could possibly be. That at. looks like the Crypt Keeper thing. <laughs> yeah, he's tough looking. So this is what Indiana Jones looks like <laughs> that, now. That's Tiger King three. <laughs> that looks this like is, something is that terrifying. Nick Cage bought to put in his house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, Nick Cage is practicing to play him in a bio. <laughs> yeah, that's what he's oh, doing. Yeah. <laughs> A bio doc. All right, what else you got, Nick? <laughs> All right, so to catch Jesse May up, one time we did a cat's dating game. A girl said she was looking for love. Her The guy she thought she was going to marry dumped her. So she was like, if you guys can find someone for me, we did a little dating game. Ooh. And this girl. Uh, Dime was, piece. Mm-hmm. She's attractive, She's huh? beautiful. Yeah. A couple. Uh, that was a couple months ago. Do you think she needs our help? Or? Uh, I, Is I, she a good person and smart? <laughs> um, <laughs> we have See? no idea. That's, <laughs> that's the problem with society. We look questions. at women and we go, she's beautiful instead of like, what does she, she contribute smart. and she is she cool. educated? Yep. Yeah, uh, but we're not playing a, a audio of her like doing a dissertation. Well, you should. Then we'd be like, oh, she sounds smart. All we know yeah, off of is we're need... showing a picture. Uh, yeah. Okay. This is okay. a video. She Fair tells enough. us a little bit Yeah, I don't herself. need a TED talk from her. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. So we're going to see her submission and we'll bring her in. Look at some guys for her, and then she's gonna and then help her pick the guy. Yeah, she. So I sent her because last time it was hard to coordinate the zooms. I sent her the audio of all the submissions, and she already picked three. So those guys are oh. scheduled, but we're we're gonna look at the other ones. She uh, went. Cool. That's awesome. Nice. Yeah. Where does she live? Do we know? Uh, York, PA. Do you That's have info you on her? Oh, we're gonna listen. Okay, yeah. got it. Hi, Brendan, Eric, Theo, and Stevie. My name is Lex. I listened to your podcast episode with Cat's dating game. And I saw that the last girl got engaged, and I'm hoping to have that same That's outcome what we do. if you guys feature me on an episode. So I'm 25, I'm from York, PA, and I like working out at the gym, running in the park, playing Obviously. with my dog, and hanging out with my friends. Okay. On the weekends, you'll find me working my job outside on a barn at a winery in oh, Maryland. Okay. I somewhat recently just got out of a two-year-long relationship with a narcissist, and I just have to say I'm really glad I'm putting myself back out there. Good for you. 
you. The types of guys I'm looking for are built, active, outgoing, but also dependable. Sure. And I also don't mind talking to guys oh. outside of my area. Oh, I hope so to hear back from you. She, she wants a, a miracle. She's like, I want a, I want much. a really in shape guy who. <laughs> It's but like, she's probably around it all the time. So like you're the attracted gym. to fuck boys, and that's yeah. what you get. Yep. <laughs> you know what the problem is sometimes with people? I, I can speak from a female perspective: is please. you yeah, swing the opposite direction. <laughs> well, you go like you go don't know opposite. How I identify. You guys don't know how I identify. You well, sh so she dealt with a narcissist, yeah, and mm -hmm. it probably burned her. And sometimes to compensate, you swing all. So the way she's to, looking for a soy boy. Right, but but that's not sustainable. No, you know because so it's not gotta, your match. Can I ask right. a question though? Since you're giving the females, but just a quick question. Then we, I'll even ask her the same. The question goes out. It's like, like he didn't become a narcissist. Oh yeah. You know you what I mean? Saw, well, well, maybe he her did. Life? Now you think yeah, he just so he, he was a great a guy and then he turned into a narcissist. Maybe you think maybe he was really rich? like this really attractive guy that like you went got to know him. Let's ask her. Oh yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Give us the girl. Hi. Give us the scoop, girl. <laughs> hey, we we just had some questions about yeah. your your last relationship. You said he was a narcissist. Yeah, when did he become a narcissist, or you just didn't did see? Did he like it? win or, the lottery and then became you know an what? asshole? I'm sure the last thing you want is a bunch of men screaming at you about your failed relationship. Shut your face, woman. <laughs> Here's, let me let me filter that for you. First of all, hello, how are you? Nice. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Here's the question. Here's the question they mean to ask. When did you recognize his narcissism first? Well, I feel like I didn't really know what a narcissist was until towards the end, until I had a friend describe it to me. And then I was like, wow, he liked that. Yep. So Damn. he was really like that beginning. So I was having all the red flags in front of my face and I didn't mm -hmm. even catch it. So, th so does that mean then there is something about a narcissist that you were super attracted to? Good point. Which is my uh, point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Good point. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's kind of hard. Um, they're like super manipulative and uh, I don't know. I guess they just pick on weaker people. So yeah. was, was he, maybe no, no, no. You know what? I have to step in. It, you're not okay. weak. No, when someone is super manipulative, when someone is like the narcissist like that, you're not weak because you got taken by that. It just means that you're sensitive and loving and you were open and you were vulnerable and people like that take advantage of those type of people. Mm -hmm. You're not wrong. You weren't bad. Mm -hmm. That guy's just, a, he just is that way. So don't, it's not your fault. Because that's you <laughs> blaming yourself. It's not your fault. All right. It's not your fault, but don't do that shit again. Okay? Yes. You got to armor yourself. No, you know, you have to also like <laughs> recognize. All, all I'm saying is this. You have to recognize what you're attracted to. Yep. And take some more time to find out about the person Before other than in. he's athletic and attractive. Yep. Facts. Yeah. Now, was, was he a successful narcissist? That's a good question. Or are you paying his rent? <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. Actually, I was living with him and he was paying rent. But, okay, okay, good for him. Um, I, know, I guess just more so like controlling. Like I didn't really go out with my friends that much. Oh, and man. He's insecure. I, kind of, yeah. also, I got really depressed. <laughs> it was just bad. Hey, it hey, sounds hey, more than what? narcissism. It sounds like there's like another personality disorder yeah, going on. I dealt with that. Before mm -hmm. I had to get a restraining order, I dealt with the same type of narcissism. And you start questioning yourself, like, what, what, it, yeah. how did I get here? Like, am I crazy? Yes, yeah. you start yeah. thinking you're crazy. The answer is yes. I'm saying, <laughs> yeah, and the answer well, is yes well, because you Jesse. allowed it in yeah. your life. Yeah, I don't know much about you, <laughs> no, but, but it's for a good her. point. Like, yeah. you attracted that sort of individual, yeah. and you know, now red flags wave. And I was like, yeah, let me be on this emotional roller coaster for the rest of my life. But now is the time for you to like switch it up and be with and, some you know, nice and men. Age is a thing too. You're 25 now. You were 22, 23 when you met this guy. You were like, you know, it was just like you were having fun, fun and all this. Can yep. I get that? And now you're looking like, you know what? I'm thinking about my future and what kind of person do I want to be with? And I get that you say, hey, I want to be with a person that looks and feels in this certain way, and I want them to be this, this, and this. You might not get all that, but try to get 80% of it. I, I'm, I'm That's surprised because obviously you're attractive girl you know this i'm surprised you're not getting meeting guys at the gym there's usually a ton of people dudes at the gym Ugh, you don't want to no, be with one of those guys <laughs> i don't want to meet anyone at the gym because yeah. uh, if it's bad then they're ruining my sanctuary True. and i don't <laughs> yeah what's your, what's your you ethnicity lift. if yeah. you don't mind me asking you don't shit where you lift i'm black and white <laughs> okay 
Uh, should yeah. we uh, watch some of these submissions for for? Yeah, yeah, let's see if we can help you out here. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's gonna be that tough for you to find a date, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. we'll see what happens here. She's not looking for just a date. She's <laughs> looking for life the partner. one. Hey man, one a step at a time. Yeah. A soulmate. Right. Okay. What's up, Lex? I am Joaquin. I'm 25 years old. I'm using college no. PA. No, <laughs> we're out. <laughs> Sorry. So, same state. Awesome. Fuck yeah. Uh, real quick, trying to keep this short and sweet. Teach cooking classes, kids cooking classes. I bounce at a nightclub, and, and I'm trying to get into MMA. Uh, I got my first Muay Thai fight coming up on Halloween, so I'm hyped about that. Uh, worked my way down from 260 to 170, 175. Discipline. Depends on the day. Uh -huh. Height. Very, very important for females. I get it. 5'9", um, put me in the right shoe. But get up to about 5'10, 5 5'11. 5 it's about to be winter. I'm being boots. I get close to six foot. Yes. So close. Um, yeah. He seems That's nice. Pretty really much all I gotta say, you are absolutely gorgeous. I would love to take you out on a date sometime. I like him. Uh, He's confident. Other than that, that's all I got. I gang, like him. Gang, buzz, buzz. Buzz, buzz. Wait, I like she him. She had a problem. A, she cut he, him he off. He has a man bun. You shook your head. Why did now, you shake your head? At the tank top and the... No. The no you're, you're thinking something. You know what's so hilarious? Can, I point, can I point out something right it now? me off. Can I point out something right now? So when we were looking at her picture and she was all like, well, we can't just like, you know, she's pretty, but what is she? How is her personality? Tank top. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so you just see a tank top <laughs> and you know everything out. about him? You don't like him. Image is important to him. But look, he's dropped like 100 pounds. Yeah. So he's disciplined. Okay. He's just chilling I'm, I'm at his 50 house. 50. Give him a chance. I'm 50 50 on him. I, right. I, I'm like, I'm wow. not sure. I'm 50 50. And, and how, so her he, tank top's okay. And how, tall, how, <laughs> and how, yeah. how, how tall are you? How tall are you? I'm five seven and a half. Oh, so five, dude, five nine yeah, works. Yeah, yeah, cute shit together. But does it work? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It does no. Work. She wears heels hurt. when she He's goes out. Five two. She see? needs somebody six foot. I see it in her face. Just oh, say it. Okay. I'm five two. Just she say she needs somebody six foot. She doesn't want the little guy. She knows. I get it. And wait, wait, she wants six foot. Would you date a shorter guy? Would you date a shorter guy? No. No. Well, I'm asking her. Never. I mean, I'd go on a date with a shorter guy, but Just, I wouldn't marry a shorter guy. No, you yeah. can't. She's not putting an ING at the end of that date. Should we timestamp yeah. this, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> timestamp it. She's like, I, I need to. Let's see what this guy has got. That's on. a time stamp. This guy seems serious. Hey, Lex, this is Ricky. I actually just got out of bed to make this video. So it shows that I'm willing to put in the effort when uh, really? time is required. Okay. And, a little effort. Uh, no. I'm in Annapolis. I'm working on my transition out of the Navy. So I have plenty of time I like to Terry. be unemployed like and go on these uh, walks with your dog. In you the got park. those DSLs? I am a, a loyal <laughs> Jacksonville Jaguars fan. They're so terrible. Uh, yeah, support nice. you even at your worst, yeah, yeah. and uh, been a fan for about twenty years. Oh wow! Like I said, I'm down in Annapolis. What do you say? He's being an asshole. What do you say? He's being an asshole. I said he got those DSLs. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does though. I'm done. He's a are cute you guy. Shaving this guy. No, it's We're not shaving him. Yeah, you guys are laughing at him. No, DSLs is good. Guys. Have a great day. Mm. He seems nice. All right, first seems worse? real serious. Yeah. And also, if he's gonna force you to watch Jacksonville Jaguar games, they're the worst team in the league. And are you a Ravens fan? They're gonna be good. Um, I'm not really any fan. I like to watch football, but I mean, Ravens is probably the best right now. So I guess yeah. <laughs> now, were you, were you were you were you feeling his energy? I don't feel a lot of. It. I'd like to give him a Monster Energy drink. Have him redo Ooh. it. The way he started the video by saying he got out of bed just to make it. So yeah. there's his, like, what is that? Yeah, I know. And like, then, but also then he said he was in the military, which early rise is no, 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 no. The, 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 standard no, in the military. I got, no, I got you. But what I'm saying is the way it came across is like, like, it don't feel like <laughs> effort. You know, like he just said, yeah. you know, I got, I rolled out of bed and I made this. He's like, girl, but, I'll do anything for you. I got yeah, out of bed. Yeah, she's wait, 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 wait. Exactly. Wait, but to his she credit though, him. he thinks... In his mind, he thought he did something good. We have yeah. to remember that. I like his intention was wasn't bad. I think he was trying right. to be funny. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think he was trying. To, if that's funny, dude, I think it sounds how, like I'm he, not saying it was. Look how fucking he friendly he looks in that picture. Right <laughs> yeah, now, he does look very friendly in that picture. But so did Ted Bundy. He's we not have ugly. to be on alert. He's yeah. pretty handsome. Is he a Those handsome guy? Is he a handsome man? He's traditionally handsome. Yeah. Now, 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 is he better? Now, is he better looking than the first guy? Because I don't think so. I think so. I like the first guy. We should try not to like. 
alert her of the looks. She hasn't seen. Oh, she oh, hasn't. She, she can't see. No, she's only. Oh. She's only. Oh, this is blind date yeah. shit. Girl. She will meet Girl. them once we bring them on Zoom. But she's Zoom. First of all, she's gonna like this guy. I think you're gonna like him. Straight up. I go no, no, with straight what up. she said. She's gonna like this guy. I don't think so. Okay. Yeah, I think you will. I don't think so. I'm going with what she said. Okay, I like this. Can we do side bats? I like the bats. Yeah, I don't think so. The red flag for me is right off the bat. This guy wants some like extra credit points for doing the bare minimum. No, thank you. Right. Exactly. Tough. Exactly. Okay, I Tough know, crowds. I know, but girls, Tough ladies, crowds. ladies, ladies, Fair minimum bye. ladies, Ugh. I do think that this is part of his personality. He's military, so he's reserved. Bye, Felicia. Okay, and I think, <laughs> listen to you, and I think that bye, he, sir. and I think that he just, that's part of his personality, but I really think he meant well. Me yeah. Too. Oh, no way. Well, that's a handsome man Ugh, right there. Set this one on fire. That's a <laughs> handsome man. This one likes out. He likes oh, long distance won. relationships. He, he looks short. Yeah, he's short no, as hell. He looks, we need to he send looks him strong. Stevie's fuck butt. And let's yeah. just start with do he you like men with strong. hair on their head? <laughs> <laughs> just didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know either. Oh, oh, that's hilarious. You're going to want this guy. This. I guarantee you that. King in okay. this thing, this is, uh, you know, a guy submitting his love application for Lex, that tall drink of water. A uh, few things about me. I am 5'7 in heels, so you will have to deal with that. Uh, but it will draw more attention to us, even though you're super fine, so I don't think we'll have that problem. Um, I work for the biggest podcast in the world. Um, so that's pretty cool. I do video for them, travel everywhere. Uh, very, you know, crazy lifestyle, but you could come along for the ride. Um, I would say I would come pick you up, take you to dinner, but my car drives itself. Shout out Elon Musk. Um, so you'll be in the back seat, Got a you Tesla. know, bumping Weird a little machine like Kelly, baby certified lover boy. And just, you know, catching a real vibe with each other. It, it, it can be nice. It's going to be fun. Um, you know, if we hit it off, maybe we'll go to Paris, Rome, maybe Burbank. <laughs> Maybe even Malibu. I don't know. We're going to figure it out. Um, and I think uh, there's going to be a real spark between us. So uh, hopefully you pick me. And if you don't, uh, you know, it is what it is, baby. Definitely the best Woo! submission video. He's I don't like keeper. that I called her baby. Yeah. Yeah. He's a goddamn keeper, that I, guy. I, I yeah. love the travel spectrum love of this freaking Paris guy. to Burbank. Burbank. Yeah, because he really means <laughs> yeah. Paris, Las Vegas, Dude, the hotel witty. in Las Vegas. You're going to want this guy. Yeah, I guarantee witty. you that. He's witty. You're going to want him. He's no. fun. He's fun. He's yeah. a keeper. He's, he looks like the friendliest one out of the bunch. And he's yeah. not contributing oh to the God. CO2 emissions in the world. Bye, Felicia. So. All right. I'll take your work. Is this the last one, Nick? Uh... We got two two more. Okay. All right. Hey guys, this is my submission for Lex. I was just about to hit this heavy bag for a minute and I was on Instagram and I seen uh, Lex and I got to submit because she's the real knockout. Okay. Um, my name oh. is Tyler. Oh. Tyler nice. Perry like Medea. <laughs> well, you know, hello. I look a lot like him too, apparently, you know, but uh, I'm 24 years old. I'll be 25 in March. Uh, I'm a contractor. I do home remodeling. Oh. Uh, I live in Walton, Kentucky, which is like 20 minutes from Cincinnati, if you're familiar, but I got a very reliable car. And I'm very mobile, so I can drive to Maryland, no problem. Um, I love to work out. I love to run as well. When I'm not at work, which I do work a lot, um, you can find me in the gym or hanging out with my family. I'm a pretty chill guy. And He's a solid dude. Solid. That's it. Well, well I just, solid, just my, solid red, my red flag is that earring. <laughs> Wait, what's wrong with the earring, man? What's wrong with it? It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a, big, it's it's a, a it's lot. A, I can't even he, see he, it. He has yeah, a he John B vibe going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's and a I John feel like, and I feel what like a this. Deep cut. So do you, by the way. Really? Do <laughs> yeah. I? Look how excited he got. Oh, yeah. 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 You want to play yeah. the piano right now and sing the ladies? Here's the thing I about this guy. Next with a fade, a tight oh, fade, like John Doe. Eric's woo woo woo. With, woo, with like me. lines right here. <laughs> you know, the thing, only thing about this guy is if he shaved his beard, he'd look 11. I yes. need to see under the hat. <laughs> but he's a solid, you, you can tell he's a solid human being. He has a real yeah. job. This dude is blue collar, girl. Yeah. If that's oh, what yeah, you yeah, want, he's, he's going to work right hard. He's a nice he guy. He's probably not going to cheat on you. He can fix stuff well. I don't know about that. Oh, because the earring? No, but cheating isn't like a fiscally specific thing. He looks skinny. I get a good vibe off. Him. He's in shape. He's skinny. Cheap. He's skinny in shape. He yeah. could just be hat cute though. We gotta watch out. That's oh. I'm out here trying to take likes on a date. So the reason I think I'd be a good fit is I'm fit, love to work out, snowboard, rock climb, go paddle boarding every weekend. Is he had an orange chili? Fan of the show. <laughs> and <laughs> 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 is he? <laughs> 
no, no. The thing yeah, with this guy is he didn't ring? understand. Ooh, like, so... he's probably never made a video like this before. He's super nervous. Yeah, is he he's 17? super nervous. We got to let him talk. We got to let him come on because that's like, he didn't know how to make no, a video. No, we don't. We don't need to let he him. He was tying his shoe yeah, in the video. Exactly. <laughs> he had his chance and it failed. Bye. You Bye, are Felicia. judging. You know what? Yeah. Why is it? You are judging. No, no, I'm, judging? With, I'm, I'm with her, though. You're being pretty harsh. doesn't judge. You're being harsh on all these guys. No, he doesn't judge. You're being harsh on her a favor. Like, that's what's happening. I am being harsh. It's the first you two. Are. Hey, we know. Boo boo is the that first guy's two. That guy's not. <laughs> she, she's no, at, yeah, I like it. She's at a different level. Yeah. yeah, she, yeah. I'm going to say, yeah. yeah. she... say it's slim picking, sis. Uh, she... <laughs> Whoa. How dare you? Lex, why don't you let us know which guys you picked? It might surprise you. Uh, I'll say Ricky. Who was Ricky? Um, Navy. Of Navy course. Guys. I told you. Yeah, yeah. the guy. Um... <laughs> Tyler, the one that has earring. Had earring. earring. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. And I guess that last guy we just talked to, Orange he Julius. sounds pretty Orange Julius. What? Wow, you did. Let what? me ask you this. Now I'm biased, but you didn't like the guy with the man bun, and the, he was she a hasn't fighter. Seen him. He hasn't seen but, him. But she heard him though. Yeah, but she didn't she like didn't the vibe the he was bun. saying. Oh, oh, here they are. Are, they, are these the guys? Yes, they're here. Oh wow! Now, they're now, now, in now. your face. Oh, can, can she see them now? Here we go. Uh, yes. Does Do she we... see the one guy with the exact same nose yeah. as Theo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Oh, right. he went out. He was missing. Tyler's got that white R and B vibe. Yeah. Oh, Tyler yeah. in the military. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is, uh, is, Tyler, are you Tyler in the military? Got that doom, 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 da da. No, I'm not. Doom, 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 da da. Uh, no, what's the top <laughs> guy with Theo's yeah. though? Uh, that's Brandon. <laughs> Brandon, are you in the military? Yes, sir. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, I told you he. I told you he's my guy. Now. I told you he just didn't know how to make yes. a video properly. Okay. No, I like Brandon. Brandon, yeah. Brandon, you're my new favorite. Brandon, fix the back of your <laughs> thing. You, your, your, your big ass yeah, shoulders so are like, straight, oh look so how it's shaped. Oh, he's wearing he his uniform. It's like a GI Joe over Bro, here. Where, did, where, <laughs> did you make that video at the commissary at the at the station <laughs> there? It was or? in the mess hall. No, I was. Uh, so I have two jobs. So when I'm out of here, I was at work at the gym. So. I made it like while I was on shift there. Oh, oh at, the, like the at the smoothie shapes. bar? Yeah. Oh, you the- he's cute. He's <laughs> cute. He's the yeah, one. He's a hunk. Well, Thank where's this other guy? Else. Why is he like taking so long yeah, to join? I don't like how long his name is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah you gotta, hey, dude, pick a last name. Unless you're is an actor. Is it Neil or is it Phil? Right, were you married? Are you married and it's hyphenated? Unless you're an actor, you can't have three names. Yeah, yeah, dude. That's what happens when parents start hyphenating names. You go down generations, it just continues. Yeah, There's also yeah. three last names that kind of. So, how do you want to do this, Nick? Is she going to talk to him? Or? Uh, I think she can ask him questions and you guys can all pick. Uh, they know they're just only going to speak when spoken to, essentially. Oh, 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 Ooh, officer to gentleman. When you oh, Lord. Well, you want to kick it off, Nick? You want to kick off the... Sure. Uh, one question we had uh, for Tyler. Uh, we were wondering if you're just hat cute. He's got a hat on again. <laughs> yeah, we got to take the hat off, take Tyler. Hat yeah. off, Are you just hat cute? Let's oh, see it. Tyler, you got to take the hat off, man. You have the Costanza. We got to take it off, man. Can we get a drum roll? Drum roll. Take that hat off. Oh! He got a six head. He got a six head, y'all. He's cute. You know, he's a cutie pie. All right, we They're like all it. They're adorable. Yeah. yeah. God, these are good picks. These are Three good handsome yeah. men. And and you all, you know, I mean, the suit really. Very handsome. That, that's a bold move, sir. All of yeah. them. Yeah. If he was in a dark alley, though, I don't know. Who would you want if, like, a two robbers, if, like, you know, two robbers came. Some which shit one? was going down. Some shit was going Broderick, down. Broderick, a thousand percent. Yeah. Top right. Really? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. Broderick looks like he's got some more experience yeah, 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 under yeah, yeah. his belt. Yeah. He looks yeah, like he's, he's been seen through some, some stuff. He's, he's seen some he's stuff. He's stoic and yeah. stoicism. But you know what? I'm he has a lot of But badges. Tyler's the one that hits the bag. So he don't let, don't, don't, uh, you know what I mean? Who's the Dude, the, the these two on the right hit, kill people. I think everybody <laughs> pick, everybody picks, pick someone and ask him a question so we can okay. learn a little okay. bit more about him. All right. You, you, well, you, you want to take the dime piece, the bottom left with the hair? Tyler? Yeah. Okay. Um, Tyler. Where would you first take our lovely lady if you were able to take her someplace? Um, there's a really there's a really cool park in Cincinnati. She says she likes parks. Mm, that's where so. bitches go missing. Maybe, <laughs> maybe there. Okay, that's kind of nice. You know what? Let me tell you what I liked about that answer. Okay, is he listens? Yep. He did. He heard she liked a park. Yeah, mm-hmm. he take her to park. He didn't try to floss like I'm You're gonna right. take her to some nice restaurant. Yeah, we goes no like, boo in Cincinnati. I'm, right. I'm gonna take her to what she likes. Okay, I like that. Awesome. I like Good that answer. too. Women go missing in parks, I'm just saying. 
Eric, you got a question, Eric? You want me to go? Uh, let me go with uh, top right guys. That so, was my guy. No, 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 bottom no, no. right. No, no. You know, you like that, so that's why I'm picking him. Oh, go and ahead. You have Doug. to answer the other. All right. So top right, top right. The last relationship she was in, the guy was a narcissist. How are you different? Uh-oh. Uh oh. That's Brandon. Uh, we were referring to. All right. Uh, I don't know. I if yeah, know Brandon. Yeah, Brandon. Right. You, Brandon. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not a narcissist. Like, yeah, I just always let the other person talk. I, I grew up big family and stuff, so you definitely got to get your word in. But like, everybody chips you down if you're feeling too high on yourself. <laughs> humble. So his family humbled him. He's family humble. 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 I'll tell you what. I mean, look at them on the left. Should they have kids right now? Look at them. I know. I know. I, know. I, I just, mean, think, I just think Broderick. Broderick's and, uh, just waiting yeah, to annihilate yeah. everybody. Hey, hey, Broderick, how old are you? I just turned 30 this summer. Good age. Wow. And, and, responsible now. And Broderick, Broderick, why did your last relationship end? Mm. My last relationship ended because I moved from Seattle to Annapolis, and uh, the long distance didn't work too well. Where are you now? Tough not to pick. Me. I just moved to Annapolis, Maryland, just How outside of DC. How close is that to York, PA? Close. Oh, it's close. Yeah, less than an hour. Can oh, I can man. I ask Broderick a question? Please, yeah, please. Broderick, if you're going to be long distance with our lovely lady, how will you maintain? It's intimacy? only an hour, but it's still, that's right? long distance. With this job, he will you have to be long distance sometimes? With this job, no. Okay. I don't want to be long distance. I don't consider an hour uh, too difficult for the weekend. Yep. Uh, whereas flying cross country is a little bit different. Yep. But I think it's all about uh, communication and help uh, setting expectations. So. Oh, good. Well, I'm sold. And, all right. All right. Le- <laughs> I Le- am too. Lexi, now eliminate one, and then we'll have you e- ask the last two a question each, and we'll decide from there. So, Damn. who who who's out? That boy oh. on the right is fine. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go with Tyler. Uh, Ty- Tyler, it's not your fault, buddy. You're competing with no two worries. goddamn people that fight for your freedom. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They're in sentry mode, too. You, you should bow out, dog. Yeah, Brandon's in sentry mode right no. now. He just... Yeah, <laughs> you're salt of the earth, Tyler. You really are. No, you're a great dude, Tyler. We're going to yeah, find you, love, dude, man. man. Maybe we'll do a dude next. Gonna, yeah, we got to do him next. He's going to be the next one. You can slide in my DMs, Tyler. It's right? going to get female suitors on <laughs> right. the show. Right. We'll find him. We'll find him. Our demo's heavily men. Thanks for playing, Tyler. Thank you, Tyler. We love you, dude. We love you, Tyler. Thank you, brother. Good luck at the Lowe's Parking yeah. lot, wherever you're at. He was right a good now. guy, man. I have a question. The Lowe's parking well, he's lot. He's a home Stevie. builder. Um, yeah. Okay, who could I ask? Uh, Whatever you want. Which one do you want to ask? The girl? Uh, the guy at the uh, top right? I think you should ask him both. Oh, I'm going to ask you guys both, okay? Okay. What? <laughs> okay. What kind of, what kind, do you guys, are you good? Do you guys have good hygiene? And the military. what kind of soap and shampoo de- and deodorant do you guys use? <laughs> Meanwhile, Stevie's rock hard boner. <laughs> <laughs> Think about he's, he's it. He's hoping it's Irish Spring. Yeah. <laughs> three. I need three answers. Soap, shampoo, deodorant. Go. Uh, Project, you want to go first? Ah, nice. Sure. I'll yeah. I'll hop on this grenade. Um. So I use. Uh, I don't even know what the Trader Joe's generic brand. Trader uh, Joe's, oh, so he's bougie. Come on. Shampoo and conditioner, and then I use <laughs> Dove Men Care for uh, body wash. Sure. Uh, you know that nice exfoliating charcoal, whatever they use, oh, and, then, and uh, it's working, my man. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Kaboom! First Out of all, the ballpark. Can we respond to that? Out the ballpark. <laughs> he's bougie as hell. I'm telling you that right now. He's bougie as hell. I'm impress me, man. No, no, the no, Trader Joe's guy. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. I almost got a boner off his, that. For his, uh, you really turned me on. <laughs> Holy <laughs> smokes. It's Trader a, Joe's. No, Trader Joe's isn't cheap. No, Trader Joe's is like the goodwill of Whole yeah. Foods. No, he should go to. He could exactly. be, be at Vons or Safeway. <laughs> Vons. He going to Vons Trader is, Joe's. Vons is cheap. Yeah, Vons is. We got to discuss where you're shopping. It'd be alarming. I use the three-in-one shampoo. Shampoo, conditioner, body wash, nine ninety nine. Yeah. By the way, because he's not using a bar of soap. People poop at the he bathroom bougie. in Vons. Yeah. They don't poop in tar- That's in what I'm trying to say. Yeah. People don't Joe's. poop in Target. Or tar- well, we need, Trader we Joe's. need to give the other guy a chance. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. Let's hear it. Okay, you he's think about it, buddy? Cool, but he looks like it's like military yeah. grade Go bleach. ahead, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, so first question, hygiene. Uh, definitely better than Stevie's. Uh, <laughs> uh, Timestamp that. <laughs> That's going out 
out of the episode. <laughs> Continue. We do the Dr. Swatch, just whichever one they send. Oh, that's what and, I use. And uh, what else? For the shampoo, uh, I asked my sister because she used to be a hairstylist. So whatever, she go to like the salon store for that and she'll just send it to me and I send her the money. Smart. Well, both hit it out of the park. Yeah, yeah I know. Solid answers. Because that, that answer was like, he was like, listen, I, I admit I don't know what's good. So he asked his sister, yeah. what, are women, what are women like? Mm-hmm. And then he, she was like, I, I use Le- this. I think Lexi should ask one question yeah, yeah. before yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, it's her date. Like, they're yeah. not dating us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, she should get a couple well, of questions, I think. There's going to be some Go ahead, answers. girl, fire away. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, oh, my gosh. I guess, um, Brandon, uh, what do you usually do in your free time besides the hiking and climbing and stuff? Like, what are other things that you like to do? Um, my days off, I usually, I always keep an inflatable paddleboard in my car. So I'll just hit the lake, do that for a couple hours, and then shower up, go see a movie, grab a bike. Sounds like a nice little night. Ooh, it does man. sound like a nice little night. Man. But yeah, that does sound fun. Um, okay. She so, Broderick, uh, I'll I ask guess. it. What, what would someone <laughs> yeah. who doesn't like you, why don't they like you? Yeah, because you seem picture perfect up there, Broderick. Yeah. What's going on with why you, dude? Someone like me? Yeah. Um, why doesn't someone like me? I can be, so, like, um, He's I used hit. to work on a submarine, and so I think uh, when you're used to like leading people, you can be like pretty upfront and direct. And so you try too uh, hard, I you think, care too much. We get it. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think some people like beat around the bush when they try to like get to like problems or whatnot. Yeah, he I bullshit. Think I can be like pretty upfront. Yeah, and so like some it. people can take that as like, oh, he's too aggressive. Like I did. I've been playing rugby for like 16 years, so I'm used to being aggressive. I'm used to that. Mm-hmm. And so um, it's just a matter of just being like having the courage to be upfront with people. And some people don't like that. Mm. He's, he's straightforward. That's I think, I think she too. needs to pick, man. Yeah. 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 Both, both, both these guys have won me. Yeah. Both, both you guys. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> if I was a chick, man, both you'd be flying to LA right yeah. now. It man. just comes down to the vibe. It comes yeah. down to the vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let her pick, Nick. Yeah, what do you think, Lexi? Go ahead, Lexi. Lex. Now, there is no wrong decision. Yeah, there well, is. there is. Uh, um, uh, right now, I honestly really like Broderick. <laughs> yeah, boy, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-huh. Our, uh, yep. <laughs> what I tell you. you call it well, from there the it is. What I tell uh, you. Yeah. We'll get your guys' info exchanged. Uh, yeah. And let and us know. We'll, we'll see Take a lot of pictures. I, I'll tell you right now, I'm liking <laughs> it. Just seeing you two on the screen right now. Yeah. Man, there's, there's a vibe here. But Brandon, I'm telling you right now. The you, world's your oyster, yeah, my man. Yeah, baby. Don't they? You, <laughs> yeah, you got a great your personality. Your future's yeah. bright. Yeah, your yeah, future's yeah, yeah, yeah. real Believe bright. Believe me, this was, was, was bright. it a tough choice, really? Was it a tough choice or... You, it was. It was. Yeah. It was. It felt like it was a Brandon's tough Brandon's DM's about to get okay. flooded. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah. Best believe that. Jess is in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe his dad. I like. How tall guys. are they, by the way? How tall are the his guys? His dad. Like oh, guys. yeah. How tall are you? both you guys? That's your problem. <laughs> you are dad Six age, foot? And what are you, Broderick? 5'9". Yeah. The okay. epitome of average. I knew it. All I right. It. All right. All right. That's 5'10 well, with heels. Thanks, guys. <laughs> uh, like I said, we'll get you guys connected, and that was fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Thank luck. you guys for playing, good man. Luck. All you guys good are great luck. people. Oh, yeah. Name the first real na- connection. Name the first baby the after next us. contestant. Yeah, <laughs> let's yeah. do it, brother. Aww. Appreciate you guys, yeah. man. Thanks for your All service. Right, yeah. yeah, thanks so for your service. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Let's, uh, you know what I mean? Lexi, let's give them a salute. Give them a salute. No, they don't really do that. Lexi, even if this doesn't work out, I think you're gonna be all right, girl. Yeah, I think I think you're doing just fine in life. Yeah, good for you. The first red flag. And get Pat. Listen, get that other guy in your. He's in your head right here. I want you to go like this. And just throw him away. You mm-hmm. have nothing to do with that. That guy is gone, and don't even worry about it. Don't let any of that nonsense yeah. stay with you. It just and, 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 wash and he that won't go stank away. Off of you. Call my boy Broderick and beat the shit out of him. Yeah. How about that? Because he'll be <laughs> very direct like a too. submarine. Yeah. Okay. I'll All right. Sure that. Well, that's what we do here. Love it. Appreciate you guys. Well, that wow, nice, what a success. Huh? That, yeah. no, that video did, fucked him. Yeah. <laughs> and then that guy's here, and then that guy. <laughs> yeah. That's We're a king. That's a king right there. <laughs> king in the <laughs> yellow shirt. It's crazy how. That's a real king. It's so interesting, just the evolution of people's personalities. Like this, it's so quick, obviously, because it's little videos, but 
those f- first initial oh, you couldn't videos, tell at all. At you can't all. tell anything. You can't tell anything uh-uh. at all. So you're going based just off looks. You know yeah. what? You, can can see I, you know what? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You know what? One, for one time, uh, I remember when Steve Harvey's show was on, he had this great, he had these three women on, all right? And, he had, and they were going to do a dating game. And there was three guys. And he let them see the guys first. Then the girls picked the one that they wanted. And it was all based off looks. And then he... You know, hid them separate, away, separate based off personality, and, and then and then it was like the guys each would talk from behind a curtain. Oh, I remember and they, that. And every single yeah. time they picked someone different. Wow, right. you know, that's it was crazy. like, and it's like, oh, because but that's just we. I don't know how one day we will evolve past our sexual desire. I don't think we will because no. the, the initial day. attraction is is you know physical. It's, it's just a, It's the first thing you right. see. I understand, but yeah. like it's so, it's so much like. Man, that 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 thing. Oh yeah, there's more to it. But yeah. Well, we'll let's ask her. What do you look for? What's first impressions meeting a man? Like, what what catches your eye? Sturdy. What do you mean by that? Like the stature, like how he's stand built. up in a windstorm. Well, can we have a better I question like a, though? I like a larger wait, 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 man. Let's, let's, okay. Like, you are you're not you don't have to say your age. Thirty nine. She okay, perfect. Okay. She's thirty nine. Okay. All right. So this is the thing though. At thirty nine, you're saying sturdy. At twenty two, what were you saying? Skinny. Skinny. Um. Rebellious. At 22, I wasn't saying anything because I was like too drunk to even like form a sentence, really. Yeah. I was like, whatever's there. That's dangerous. Yeah. (laughs) A lot of plan B back then. I didn't really have as many standards. I think in your 20s, that's the fun of being 20s for me. There's no judgment. "Eh, We're hanging out. There's nothing really serious. So, what about late 20s? Were you starting to think about it? Like she's starting to think about it? Yeah, a little bit. You start to develop more, you know, requirements, I think. Like, what are some of those requirements? Reliability. Stevie, it's not happening. Intent, no, I do. I did. That's hey, my homie. It's not happening. As I know. It's, not that's a the homie. Butt in a plastic I, bag. I, I, I'll tell you that much. At least my yeah. fuck butt would come in like a vel, like a, a velvet. Vel, yeah, like, like a like a like a bowling bag, <laughs> dog. At least leather. Like some yeah. No, it would open like up like the it would open up like the Pulp Fiction suitcase. Yeah. <laughs> that's where my fuck butt should be. Yes. Tyler just sent a thank you note. I think she made the wrong choice. Oh no. Wow. He oh, is a catch. Tyler's, Tyler's a catch. Both of them are though. That Broadwick is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he, they need money too, right? He has Not to be successful. They don't. They, they need. Yeah, they need to be in their be own broke. individual. Thank you. They, they can't be broke, and they have to be going towards something. A Having goal. A, a goal. A no, goal. but late twenties is when you start having a minimum standard. You it's st- like he should minimum. have a job and that's a fair. place to stay. And that's yeah. fair. You know what I mean? Yeah, but even <laughs> yeah, like in your thirties, it gets a little muddy. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like our girl Lexi. You know, you you get you get. So you get you get sideswiped by some of these dudes. Right. I'm sure you guys go through it too with women. Like, you know, women are can be just as witchy as, as men can Wasting be. Does the time. size of the penis matter? Heck yeah. <laughs> Anyone tells you size doesn't um, matter is lying. Like what is but the ideal are different size? What's the ideal penis size that you're looking for? Enough. I mean, Judging give me some inches. Hands, I need, I need, I'm going to say it's a hard pass. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do this happening. this way. Tell me it's when to stop. <laughs> no, dude, Brennan, that's the homie. Just tell me when to stop. <laughs> That pointer finger is really throwing like, me for a loop, bro. No, Steve, you're doing it wrong. You got to do like this. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like, like a subway sandwich. sandwich. Oh, tell me when to stop. Are is you ready? A, is it three inches? I'm never going to be ready. So where does everybody have shows? <laughs> yeah, let's wrap this yeah, up. I'll be at the Addison. On, I'll be at the Addison Improv this weekend. Dallas, right? Dallas. I'll yep. be at Dallas Addison Improv. Come on out. And I want to thank all the, even some of the King and the Sting fans that came. I was just yeah. in Boston and people have come up to me and been like, love you on King and oh, the Sting, I hear it all man. the time, man. San yeah. Antonio. Like, I love you, Eric and Steve. Yeah, man. so thanks for all those fans that came out for there. But I'll be at Addison, so come check Go me out. Go see him in Dallas, everybody. And I'm in Denver this weekend. Hometown, Comedy Works, downtown Denver. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then next week I'm at the new Wise Guys in Las Vegas, California, or Las Vegas, Nevada. Jesus Christ. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right. Get your tickets at thickboy.com. Where does he put you up there? Uh, I get I, uh, Airbnbs. Smart. Oh. Yeah. Go ahead. Go oh, ahead. Go um, ahead. Go ahead. I have a new podcast called Girl G Y R L with my girl Carly Aquilino. Love it. We kick off our tour for that in New York City at the City Winery, October nice. 9th. And my wide open tour is available and my podcast Sharp Tongue. Nice. Love it. Uh, YouTube.com slash Scissor bro. We missed you last week, dude. I missed y'all too. Yeah, you're hey, the, you're, get your merch. You're, you're the get, secret get your sauce. Hat today. I get your hat the Stevie today. Weeby show. Stevie, where's my hat? It dog? was my hat. Oh, I didn't know you guys like our merch. Do you hate marketing? Yeah. I'll bring some. I'll, I'll, wear, wanna, I'll rock that hat. You will? Yeah. You should make a fuck butt with the scissors on it. Ooh. For women. Oh. Okay. Or a hat with the butt on it. Boom. Bunch of All right. Yep. Oh, like a butt. A butt, a butt yep. hat? Butt hat. That'd be fun. That All nice. right, guys. Denver, see you this week. Love you guys. Theo, miss you. See ya. Brendan and Theo, fighter and wait. I got to go in and go hard in the paint. I do not think I am in flow. Black rifle cough.
coffee, I'm ready to go I need a sponsor, I am a monster About to open up with this at my concerts Flow is contagious, brows are outrageous Thicker than girls that are Instagram famous Damn, hungry like I'm fresh off keto Seeing red like Andrew Santino Every song I hit like the great Bambino Brennan ate the queso and the queso Ritos But everything's gonna be fine Ay, Hate on me, I do not mind Ay, Theo looking like the type of dude that got a pack of matches in his pockets at all times yeah, They sliding into my DMs A couple of you tribe, I couldn't beat them Quit playing like Nintendo DS You don't want the smoke like Joey Diaz uh, Meaning y'all edible Just got my eyebrows threaded and I'm feeling incredible yeah. Brennan's son hit me up He said it's too loud in the club Can you pick me up? King and the Sting on a string oh, yeah. We are outside of Thick Boy Studios with Steve. Yes, we are. The weed. And today These is are a, fucking bros, today's baby. Today's a monumental day. Uh, it's it's a day of growth. Um, it's a day of uh, just um, moving forward in my life. So I'm getting rid of uh, Thelma um, today. Uh, I spent many of nights with her, um, and she lived in my closet. And uh, as you can. Can I, I can't show this part. Yeah, probably not okay, that part. So, have um, but anyway, if I, I would show you, like, just to prove that I did use it a lot because it, you, you saw how shredded I'll it was. I'll zoom in on it real quick. It just, it's but, a black Yeah, butt. yeah, yeah. But you saw how shredded it was. Oh, yeah. You yeah. tore it up. So uh, I, I, I'm trying to move forward in my life and uh, to make so I could date real women, uh, not like, you know, it's an object. Because um, I think this is hindering me from uh, growth <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> meeting a possible mate so how about this i just thought of this i have other to fleshlights and toys that i want to get rid of so maybe as as the weeks prolong and progress i could you know how about i bring in another toy every week we have a funeral toy. and by that point all right later brother let's by just that get a point, barrel and burn them by all. that point so can i throw it where, where's the trash can the trash can's right there you're gonna throw it away here yeah i mean this is okay. the if you're gonna say goodbye to uh, it, let's gonna, say goodbye. Okay, gonna, can I? I want to kiss. Yeah. Well, let's uh, say a couple words about it. I'd like to say something about it. Um, thank you for the time you spent with me. Um, this is a very hard day, um, uh, but I wish you the best. Um, but I can't. You, I can't live. I, you can't live in my closet anymore. And I'm trying to grow as a, a human. That's beautiful. Can I say something about it? Hold on, I still want to do a prayer. Thank you. 